What's up guys, it's Jack from Diamond Wake here, and today I will be going over my progression of learning the heel side back roll. But before we get into it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. So the heel side back roll is actually not my first invert. Last summer I learned how to tantrum because I just felt more comfortable doing the backflip type motion. So at the beginning of this summer, I thought that the heel side back roll would be the next step because both of them are typical first inverts that people learn. So I watched some videos before I went out in the water for the first time, and I saw one from Learn Wake that had progression of slowing the boat down and learning load and release to a back roll, and then building up to actually doing the back roll. So that's what I decided to do, and here are some of those clips. So as you can see, I wasn't really that close to landing it. My head was very tucked in and I was almost doing a roll to revert every time because of it. And after watching those clips, I knew I had a lot of work to do to improve my back roll. I had a lot of time off between those back roll attempts and the next time I went out on the water. So I was able to analyze a lot of those clips and figure out what I should be doing so I could get closer to landing the back roll. So the next time I went out, I had a different approach. I decided to try some one-handed one-wake back rolls to understand the rotation and get the flipping motion consistent before I went wake to wake. So I went out on the water and I tried a couple one-wake back rolls, so here those are, and we forgot to bring the camera with us, so sorry about the bad quality. So right after that set, I actually got to go on a video call with David O.C. because of a trick guessing contest that he did after one of his videos. And we talked about wakeboarding and my progression for the future, and he wanted to see my back rolls so he could analyze them and give me tips for landing them. So I sent him one of my one wake back rolls that I did earlier, and he responded with a video message on what I should do to complete my back roll. So here's that clip. Hey Jack, an absolute pleasure to talk to you on the phone, and damn, that back roll is insanely close. So one tip I'm gonna give you is narrow your approach. So you're going quite wide and for a one-handed one wake one, you don't need that momentum because that's also encouraging you to slip out on the landing. The second tip I'm gonna have is when you land, I couldn't really see, but I'm gonna say make sure to just keep your head looking at the boat right in front of you. And the third one is, what's happening is when you're landing, you're slipping out, that momentum, is it's not slowing down. So to slow the momentum down, as you come out of the back row, just push the handle a little bit in front of you like that. It should help massively. Anyway, great to talk to you. I hope the tips help. Let me know when you do land the, the back row. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And don't forget, keep up the switch wakeboarding. I cannot thank David enough for helping me with my back row and for going on the video call with me. It was so cool to talk to him because I learned a lot about my future progression and he's one of my idols in wakeboarding. I would not have landed my back roll as soon as I did without him, and if you're watching, go check out his channel because he posts so many cool videos and he's actually a really good wakeboarding coach. Because on my next set, I landed the one wake back roll, but unfortunately we didn't have the camera. But on my next set after that, we got my first attempt at a wake to wake back roll on video. And it was a phone clip though, so sorry about the quality, but here's that clip. That was probably the most sketchy back roll that you've ever seen, and I fully agree, but I was still happy that I landed it. After that, I basically just tried to clean up my back roll and get better at it as I did more, because I should not have landed that one. So here's just a bunch of random clips of me trying back rolls after that and getting them more clean and consistent.
definitely see my improvement on the last couple back rolls. I got better pop and a smoother landing down the wake. This trick is still not a 100% I'll land it every time trick, but now I feel very comfortable doing them. I can definitely still improve in the future, but I've made it a long way from my first couple attempts, and I wanted to show you guys my progression of learning this trick. I think it's a good invert to learn early on because I got the hang of it pretty quick, and it takes a while to understand the motion, but after that it's just about going wake to wake. I think this and the tantrum are the easiest first inverts to learn, and it just comes down to personal preference on which one you want to learn. I preferred the tantrum because I was very comfortable doing backflips, but the back roll is just as good of an option. Also a huge thank you to David OC for helping me with my back roll and for doing the video call with me. Please check out his channel if you want to watch some sick wakeboarding and learn some new tricks. Comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.